And they go top of the table on goal difference from Hart. Those two, four points ahead of Hibbs, ten points ahead of Rangers. Two young Scots with Scott Booth, the man who sealed the win for Celtic, Stephen Pearson, and the man of the match, Sean Maloney. Did you enjoy that? Um, uh, we had to work very hard, especially in the second half where uh, Dungeon United came at us, but it was a, a massive result for us. Of course, the game plan wouldn't have been losing an early goal like that. No, but... Uh, once we did, I think we got the confidence in the squad to um, to bounce back from that, and uh, I think we proved that. In the first half in particular, you created so many chances, and going forward, you looked so fluent. Yeah, it, uh, I think uh, I think Mo Kamara was, was bombing on behind me, so um, yeah, I think going forward, we played very well in the first half. At times when you look forward and you see Hartson and Sutton up there, and their link-up play, it's pretty good stuff at times, eh? Yeah, today you could, um, yeah, they did play very well, and... Uh, Obviously, Craig's done great up there as well lately, so it's um, it bodes well for the future. Do you feel that your personal form's the best you've been in? Um, I don't know. Um, I'm enjoying it anyway, and uh, just enjoying getting a run in the team. Injury? No big problems? No, no, just uh, just very tired at the end. Stephen, that was a fair entrance for you to make to come on and, and get a goal as well. Yeah, it was nice to get on. Um, first appearance for a while, so it was good. Is it frustrating for you to to not be involved more? Yeah, obviously it's frustrating if you're not on the side, you know. But if the team are playing well, which you are doing, and they're scoring goals, and there's not a lot you can do. You've got to look at the midfield, and it is pretty jam-packed with talent, isn't it? Yeah, it is. There's a lot of good players there um, on the bench, and players just coming through as well that are not getting on the bench are still there, so it's going to be difficult to get in, but hopefully that can help me in. And Sean, today it was all about getting the three points, wasn't it? Yeah, it was uh, It was massive for us to, uh, to get back to the top of the table, I think, so um, yeah, it's a big confidence boost. Well, you are the Bank of Scotland man of the match. I'm sure Stephen will present you with your bottle of champagne. Thanks, Sean. So Sean Maloney, man of the match, as selected by Mark Hately and as selected by David Allen from Helensborough, who is today's competition winner, a signed Maloney shirt is heading your way. Well, the celebrations were inside Tannadice. They've moved outside now. And uh, for the Celtic supporters, they will go on for some time to come. But for, for the first time this season, their team is top of the SPL, courtesy of the 4-2 win here at Tannadice this afternoon. Craig Burley is with me in the studio as usual. And the Falkirk manager, John Hughes, is here as well. John, your, your team, of course, play Celtic next week. So you're watching with more than the normal interest. Yep, um, I've played them twice this year. Um, and we've done quite well against them. Took the lead uh, on both occasions, and but could not hold on to that. So, but they're improving every week. Um, you know, as a fellow manager, and watching the way Celtic have improved since Gordon Stratton has come in, also working closely with Tommy Burns, um, you can see the coaching. Uh, it's coming through onto the park and the interchanging and the passing. It's nice to watch, and they're getting the rewards because they're scoring goals. So. Every time you play against the old firm, uh, you have to carry luck. and um, We'll need a lot of luck next week. Uh, but we'll have to have the self-belief and the collective belief that we can go and get a result. Was there any chance, Craig, that uh, Dundee United could have got something here? Yeah, I mean, I think so. I mean, I just didn't think they had enough decent quality service to Samuel in the second half, or, or probably the first half, although Samuel did score a very good goal. But he found himself too often in wide positions in the second half, and that little ball I talked about down the side of the centre-halves, they didn't get that off.